All right, Shalom. First of all, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Acha Kodash, double honors to our apostles, the elders, the GMS, uh, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Uh, GMS precepts, Nazar Chud here, and um, more, more, more prophecy um, in full effect. This is an article from CNN uh, News or, or CNN.com. And it reads, a swarm of more than 40 earthquakes in 24 hours is causing a buzz in the northwest, northwest U.S. Um, right. I mean, you know, this this just, uh, uh, you know, gives more validity to the scriptures. This is something that's being that's uh, prophesied. These are all signs that are coming in the return of the Lord, because uh, this is what he said what will happen prior to his return. All right. Um, the scriptures don't say what day, what time and hour he's going to return. But it does speak about things that will take place before he returns. And this is one of them. All right. I'm not, you know, this this is one of them. Um, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, as the scriptures say. Right. But I read it again. A swarm of more than 40, more than 40 earthquakes in 24 hours is causing a buzz in the northwest. So. Reading this article, I'll leave this in the description box. Um, I'm not going to read too much of it. The, the point's already made in the title. But it reads, one of, North, one of North America's most active fault lines sprung to life on Tuesday after a swarm of more than 40 earthquakes, quakes, ranging from a magnitude of 3.5 to 5.8. And, and that's another thing. It's not, the scriptures don't speak about earthquakes being big. Right. The, it, the scriptures don't say, oh, it's going to be um, uh, 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 7.0 or greater. Right. I, I'll get the scripture in a minute. Ranging from a magnitude of 3.5 to 5.8 rattled off the coast of Oregon, catching the attention and concern of millions in the region. The series of quakes, which began early Tuesday morning and, t and continued into Wednesday, were all clustered between 200 and 250 miles west of the coastal town of Newport, Oregon, Oregon, far enough to be mostly undetected by on land. But given the area's size, seismic history, it is creating quite a buzz. So this is the uh, area in which these 40 and more or more earthquakes, what does it say, 40 a swarm of more, this fucking shit keeps coming down, a swarm of more than 40, so it was 40 plus off the coast of Oregon, 200, 250 miles um, off the coast. Um, you know what, I have, let me go to, where is that, uh, where is that, uh, I have a, uh, here it is, no, this is a global protest tracker. I also have... Damn, I have a, uh, here it is, live earthquake, earthquake map. Damn. Well, it's, it's not, um, it's not the full screen. It's not the full screen. But you can see, damn, let me back up a little bit. Damn, I made the screen too small. But you can see, you know, if I go in the map here, if I, you go all over the world, the this is uh, earthquakes. What is this? Twenty four hours. These are the latest earthquakes, and this this earthquake tracker it it does list. It does list it this like the same way in this article. These are the forty. See one one for four point four two hours ago. Sixty three minutes ago four point five. This is a four point eight. So. And you got a, a lot here in Cali. Um Kansas, right? So you, you have a lot of earthquakes happening. Um all over. Now let me see the time frame. I believe this is just uh twenty four hours. And these are all the uh, see there was one just four minutes ago in 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 Alaska and another one seven minutes ago in, in Alaska. 3.2, 1.3, 4.8, South Sandwich Island region. That was probably the heaviest one. 
See, and this is all like a few hours. You see, if you scroll down here, this is just from six hours ago. We had a big one. Okay, that was one of the ones six hours ago in Oregon, right? So, see, this is new earthquake map. You also have, I'll leave this also in the description. You have a term, terrorism event pre predictions, disease outbreak. Let's click that just to see what that says countries united kingdom bird flu you know what i'm saying uh oh we got a we got this japan um, omni variant you see so like i said i'll leave this in the description box but let me let me go to the scriptures first scripture i have pulled up here is in isaiah 26 29 and 6 and it tells you how the lord i'll just read this Isaiah 29 and 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and flame of devouring fire. So this is how the Lord deals with people on earth, or this is how he visits you, it says. Right? He visits the people or he judges nations um, or, 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 or kingdoms with what? Earthquake, thunder, noise. You know, those are all, those are, you know, there are also reports of so-called ufos or uaps um in clouds prior to a earthquake or an er or earthquake or certain volcanoes go off or um some certain storms there's always there's they have sightings of of chariots in that area or in the storm itself you see so those are done by what the angels okay but this is how the lord deals with with man he deals with man in uh with with thunder earthquake great noise storm and tempest right i got another scripture here in matthew 24 uh matthew 24 and 7 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be uh, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places, right? So this is one of the scriptures, one of the famous ones to go to concerning the return of the Lord, right? Um, his disciples asked him, and he told them, all these things will take place before I, before I return. And one of those things he lists here in, in, in the seventh verse, king, uh, nation shall rise against kingdom, kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilence, and what? And earthquakes in diverse places. Now, like I said, we had the, where is it? We had the uh, earthquake tracker, which I'll, leave in, which I'll leave in the description. These are, right here is listed, all the earthquakes within the past six hours. Okay? And, uh, and also there's articles of, uh, there's trackers that track earthquakes going back 20 30 40 50 years and plus and they and, and they say there are a lot more earthquakes recently within the past 10 years or or it's like uh they 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 each each year or each decade the ratio of earthquakes continually go up like there there's always more and more and more earthquakes which goes into prophecy. It tells you that there shall be what? One of the things is what? Earthquakes in diverse places. Okay? And the last scripture I got here is in uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Third verse. The points in the third verse. I, re I start from the top. It says, he answered, me in the he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time di diligently in itself. How does one me measure the time? Or uh, you, how does how does one measure the time? Is you constantly look at news articles for prophecies to take place. All right. If you are hastening the return of the Lord, you are to watch for His coming. And part of watching for His coming is watching for prophecies, and watching for the things that He said is are are going to take place, actually happen. All right. So that's how one measure measures the time diligently and it says when thou seest part of the signs past which i told thee before 
Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what you see. You see uproars of the people. You see earthquakes. This tracker not only has a uh, a um, earthquake tracker, but a, a more trackers. Oh, I also have a uh, another tracker here. Global protest tracker. You see? And this is last update of no November 8th. And you got all the protests. You see? Start date going back to October 21. You see? And which which what? That goes into what? The um that goes into the protests or or or, 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 or I'm, I'm sorry. That goes into the uproars of the people, uproars of the people in the world, and there, and there, there's, there's every country, every major continent has a uproar, right? Where the people are fighting back, which goes into the next scripture. Let me get that, and I'll close up. Uh, Second Ezra's, is it fifteen? Let's go to it. Fifteen, verse sixteen. Here it is. It says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. What is that talking about? Sedition is an is in a is an uprising from uh is an uprising towards government. Right? And you see that happening throughout all the four corners of the earth. Every continent has some form of sedition happening from the people towards their government, the people towards their leaders. It says their kings nor their princes, right? It says they shall not regard them, right? You see constant protests happening all over the world. It's without a shadow of a doubt. Even a, a person that doesn't, d doesn't believe in the Bible, uh, they haven't believed in the Bible for, for years, they can see that something is, 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 is going on, you see? All right, there, there's going to be a point in time where there's not... <laughs> There are not going to be any atheists out there. And, and imagine that. And, and that's something that happened. The Lord, the, the fear, you know, we were going into that at camp this weekend. The fear of the Lord is, is going to come back in full effect, right? Because you have a lot of unbelievers. You have a lot of people that don't believe. Okay? But there is going to come a point in time where everybody's going to believe that there is a higher power. And he is the God of the Israelites. Right? But, anyway. All right, so Lord willing, brothers and sisters, we're edified. Until the next show, Shalom.